St. Alban, Martyr, 303, Viralami, Britannia. St. Alban was still a heathen when the decrees of the emperors Diocletian and Maximian set the storm raging against the Christians, and he gave a certain clergyman refuge in his house. As he saw this person intent on prayer and watching by day and night, suddenly the grace of God moved him to seek to copy that ensample of faith and godliness. He was gradually taught by the precious exhortations of his guest. He cast away the darkness of idolatry and became a Christian with his whole heart. Upon a time the persecutors came to the house to search for this clergyman, and Alban, to save his guest and teacher, wrapped himself in the other's great cloak and allowed the soldiers to take him, who bound him with thongs and led him unto the judge. When the judge found out the trick that had been played upon him, he commanded God's holy confessor to be smitten by the tormentors, and when he found that he could not overcome him by the torture, nor beguile him from the practice of the Christian faith, he ordered him to be beheaded. When Alban came to the top of the hill which was hard by, the executioner, who was to behead him, was seized with terror from God, cast away his sword, and threw himself at the feet of the saint, himself desiring rather to die with the martyr or for the martyr. Alban therefore was beheaded there, and received that crown of life which God hath promised unto them that love him. And along with him was beheaded that soldier who refused to strike God's witness, and of whom we know that, although he was not washed in the water of baptism, he was purified in the laver of his own blood, and was made worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Alban suffered hard by Verulam upon the twenty-two day of June. O Remus! O God! in whose sight this day is holy, because thy blessed servant Alban did thereon lift up his last testimony, we beseech thee to grant that as his feast doth every year make us glad, so his help may ever make us strong. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.